This is the Hustlers Corner. Is Ether Digital Oil Bitcoin Digital Gold? What's up, crypto hustlers? Big homie Spooda Archie in Cape Town. Let's go straight to that shop shop sign over there. On a count of three, let's click it. One, two, three, let's go. Click, 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 click. Boom. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go over there to that subscribe button on the count of one, two, three. Click. Thank you very much. Don't forget to switch on that um, notification bell. Okay, I'm out here in Cape Town. As you can see, <laughs> uh, I am in um, Clifton. Okay. Now, sorry, guys. It's, it's a bit weird. I'm actually on top of a rock. Let me show you guys. I'm literally on top of a rock. Can you see? Just like those people over there behind me, they're also on top of a rock. <laughs> Check that out. I'm also on top of a rock. There's people over there at the bottom walking over there. Anyway, let's get right straight into it. You guys do know me. I'm all about education, right? I just want to talk about the times moving, the times changing. And the first disclaimer I'd like to throw out there is that I'm not a financial expert. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't want to give anybody um, advice. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody give you advice about your money. But before you invest your money into anything, seek knowledge. That's the reason why I started this channel. Welcome to crypto is to encourage you to go and seek knowledge. Why am I so concerned about you seeking knowledge and being informed before you even get into digital currencies? It's because I got scammed. It's not a great feeling, guys. At least I had... Um, it was not a lot of money. Like, even now I'm learning cryptocurrencies. I'm not investing a lot of money yet, but I'm mostly invested in Bitcoin. So Bitcoin and then Ethereum and then a little bit of XR, XRP, Dogecoin. But it's mostly on Bitcoin. That is my investment. So as times have evolved and we can see or hear all over the world, everybody's talking about digital currencies being um, the future, you can't help but think of where money comes from and just the trading of goods, how people traded back in the day, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of years ago, our ancestors, all the way to now and how the world is evolving and moving forward. And the comparisons in the digital currency world, a lot of people are comparing the old school minerals such, minerals, such as gold and oil with the current um, digital currency. So I bumped into a very interesting article um, on investing.com. I'm going to put the link in the description, but let me read the article because I'm all about education. So uh, on a lot of our videos that are still going to come, we're going to advance. We'll be having a lot of knowledge as far as this digital currency world is concerned. But for now, we just keep reading, informing ourselves step by step. We're not in a hurry. We're not competing with anyone. And my message to you is to encourage you to be informed all right let's get into this article gold and oil have been a catalyst for many societal changes as they reshaped our values and ideals mankind has placed value in scarce resources found within our earth particularly when they are naturally occurring and the means of extract of extraction requires complex instruments I'm sure that sounds familiar, right? Our understanding of the utility these minerals bring to our daily interactions are directly linked to their monetary value. Cryptocurrencies portray similarities when examining Bitcoin and Ethereum. In contrast to gold and oil, sorry, in contrast to, bo to gold and oil, I'm going to read that statement again. Cryptocurrencies portray similarities when examining Bitcoin and Ethereum in contrast to gold and oil. While both are limited and scarce, their underlying use cases rely on their perceived affordances. They add to the digital network. Such a view of Ethereum and Bitcoin reinforces the growing belief that Bitcoin is digital gold, while Ethereum is digital oil. Why am I invested mostly in, in Bitcoin? Well, I guess for obvious reasons, a lot of people are. And a lot of people are saying... If there is a cryptocurrency that is decentralized, is Bitcoin. 
and apparently the others it's very argument it's it's arguable that the others are actually centralized by the people that have created them and the people that keep um upgrading them from time to time and all these different developers because we don't know if um satoshi nakamoto was one person if it was a group of people if he was a nice guy nice guy if he was a bad guy all we know is that his invention or their invention if it was a group of people is working in um, transparency and it works on the black blockchain technology in decentralizing finance and getting people to trade amongst one another without the middleman and without the interference of government although with that being said we all know as well there's a lot of scammers there's a lot of hackers in this environment you gotta be getting into it for a long term and before you even get into investing in digital currencies my advice and why i started this channel is to encourage you guys to seek knowledge let us seek knowledge let us be informed before we invest and as we keep learning I'm excited that um, we, we are starting to slowly understand this digital currency thing for instance a metaphor of our times. Arguments about comparisons between cryptocurrencies and minerals have been reiterated by Gemini cryptocurrency exchange co-founder Tyler Winklevoss, who claimed Bitcoin is better at being gold than gold is, emphasizing the ease at which one can store and transport a valuable asset. Additionally, Ethereum was compared to digital oil because of its versatility in powering the Ethereum network protocol. Ethereum and Bitcoin are digital assets. One can levy in exchange for monetary gains. However, due to the high price volatility, users are reluctant to spend any BTC, BTC being uh, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, right? Additionally, Ethereum users are incentivized to use Ethereum to participate in the decentralized finance craze. To that end, both gold and oil portray similarities to Bitcoin and Ethereum when not taking into account digitization. Okay, let's get in deeper. Metaphors used in the crypto space function as normalizing acts to help distill complex systems into something mass audiences can relate to. Ethereum's utility and Bitcoin's store of value are the main comparisons used in metaphors. As highlighted by Alexandra Blum, both coins draw intrinsic parallels to material and things because of their underlying cases and you Oh, because of their underlining use and cases, right? Okay, let's continue. We keep learning here, guys. This channel is about learning. So if you're advanced, you, more, you know more than we do, you're more than welcome to go follow um, other channels because this channel is for beginners. Like I'm a student as well. I'm brand new. I'm learning these things and I keep reading these different articles as I go and I'm reading it with my followers. So um, don't mind us. If you know more than we do, we want to be like you one day. But us, we just keep on learning for now, step by step, because we're still new. All right. The article continues to say... Um, Vitalik Buterin, who is uh, the founder of Ethereum, reaffirmed the idea that Bitcoin is gold and Ethereum is oil. Given Ethereum will be the energy source on the internet for the technology world. Close quote. Additionally, Ethereum is a crypto fuel that powers the entire network. However, it powers a single network but doesn't account for all crypto because of interoperability limitations and on the flip side the market sentiment is still highly dependent on bitcoin which affects the performance of individual coins ethereum's value within the growing blockchain network is more apparent than bitcoins due to price volatility bitcoin cannot perform currency functions as gold used to centuries ago ethereum as money is that a way forward well, Bitcoin and Ethereum portray similarities in price activity or price action. However, as the networks evolve and Ethereum becomes more utilized in the market, us users place more emphasis on Ethereum. A move towards Ethereum 2.0 might change the perception towards the project for the majority of investors. The proof of stake consensus will require Ethereum to be locked and stacked or staked, sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's not my mother tongue, I'm an African. Give me baby, you know? <laughs> but currently, 
over 9 billion US dollars worth is locked and that is uh, 9 billion US dollars worth of Ethereum is locked which to an extent coincides with the price activity favorably reported against Bitcoin. Additionally, lower fees on the Ethereum network facilitate even more activity at a reduced price. Ethereum is one gateway of interacting with the blockchain. While Bitcoin preserves the foundational characteristics of a digital metal that users are reluctant to spend. With over 3,000 apps or dApps fueled by Ethereum and uh, ETH or the ETH tokens, Ethereum's usability created an oil analogy. Ethereum's improvement in the use cases of, eth of Ether from 2016 have created a sustainable and organic demand for using and owning ether ethereum while both bitcoin and ethereum might seem synonymous to users outside the blockchain space they portray distinct characteristics that guide our perception of each cryptocurrency's value my encouragement to you is seek knowledge know about these things before you invest in them and the comparisons that keep going on in the industry about these latest digital currencies with minerals is for certain reasons. Go seek more knowledge yourself. Go read this article as well. Analyze it. Find out more information. Go do courses on Bitcoin for beginners, cryptocurrency for beginners. Know how that works. If you're interested in trading, go learn how to trade cryptocurrencies. That is if you're interested there. But I've just learned a new word, by the way. I would like to call myself a hodler like as an H-O-D-L. I guess that's what they call us. People who buy Bitcoin and just hold on to it. I don't sell it. Even when there's a dip, I buy more. When people are scared or people, the market is volatile, going up and down, people losing money, getting out, I'm not selling. I stay in it. I actually even buy more because I'm a long-term investor, right? And this is the information I've been attaining, I've been acquiring, and I'm learning that if you want to get into this space for long-term, this is the right space for you but if you want to get into this space for a quick buck and just get out of here get your money this is not your space rather learn how to trade and uh as i've touched on other videos about the differences between forex trading and cryptocurrency trading um you can also trade cryptocurrencies which is a good thing but you have to understand it first and once you're knowledgeable and you can trade cryptocurrencies then it can be a short-term thing for you you can make money quicker you can go in go out don't be greedy uh, buy low sell high according to the knowledge that you would have attained but my um main focus is seek knowledge learn 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 even before you even trade cryptocurrencies what an interesting article from uh, investing.com i'll share the link on the description over there but it's pretty much not to make you guys understand when i read these articles it's just for me to understand i'm just on my own learning journey and i'm just reading in front of the camera so that you guys can go read more read further and just be inspired to go want to learn more about these digital currencies so thank you very much for tuning into this video once again i like share subscribe switch on that notification bell don't forget guys be careful of the scammers careful of the scammers don't give your money to anybody hold on to your money seek knowledge first before you invest with any reputable platform invest with a reputable platform invest in um cryptocurrencies through reputable platforms or reputable exchanges don't give your money to an individual don't give that responsibility of um investing to anybody else this is your money be careful i love you guys and thank you very much for tuning in welcome to crypto this is the hustler's corner